Every day that an ice cream is in your life in the morning, it's the best day ever. Every day that oatmeal is in your life instead of an ice cream, it's just as good. Don't wake up and have steak and egg though, or bacon, because animals don't like that. That's not just as good. gonna be a great day. Thank you Ben and John and all of the family over there at the house for hosting me. Uh, it was so much fun. Honestly I don't even want to leave but I feel bad just staying at anyone's place for too long. So I'm actually headed back to Sarah's. Throwback to the first place when I landed in Berkeley. Headed back to Sarah's house looking forward for different vibes. It's all just as good. But today's gonna be such a great day. I'm going to Marin. I'm going to San Francisco. I'm going across literally every bridge and maybe even a ferry. We're going all over the Bay Area today. I'm stoked, hope you're having a wonderful morning. You might as well be if you're watching this video. You got something to be grateful for, so try to tune into that. When all the negative energy comes into your mind, try to find what you're grateful for and see if that can outweigh any of the negative. You might as well, because this is the only life we know we have, and we should enjoy it. Just dropped off my stuff at Sarah's and today is gonna to be a bonanza of public transportation. Jackson's Cafe is not a vegan option. You might have to do a one person protest right now. Is Ali cleans himself or scratches? It's all over itches. His body. And it's really good for their back, it's good for their digestive system. Yeah. He's, he's just. He's just doing his asanas, really. Oh, totally. Oh, totally. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Now you're a dirty boy. <laughs> yeah. I know. That was nice. That was fun. Like he's doing his morning yoga. <laughs> Come here. Turk thinks I put his bowl over here. Turk, it's over here. You're looking for it in the wrong place. Come over here. Come here. Yeah, there's not too much difference between no. us and them. That's that's what breakfast looks like most days. Oh, absolutely. Oh, there he goes. And he's gonna just go to town. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna grab some breakfast. Mm. Um, at the end of that Denali video. Oh, that video was out of control.
it's just really amazing to work on a partnership with someone that's completely based off of just this. It's not, we don't, like I talk to him obviously, I tell him he knows everything about me, but like we just work on so many things that, that, that transcends language. And it's a partnership that just transcends all the things that we deem important for our relationship. Mm -hmm. And your, your intention with this relationship is to love each other. You're not putting him into shows. You're not, you're, you're, your intention is a relationship. Absolutely. It's not a product out of the animal. Absolutely, and, and the intention is a partnership. It's not, <laughs> it's not like me wanting to come out here and dominate and show him all these cool tricks, anything like that. We have some cool tricks, but like, <laughs> you know, our relationship is totally a partnership. Yeah. I think this is a, a spiritual entrance into my ayahuasca journey that's gonna happen in a couple days. This is like rooting me to Mother Earth in a super deep way. This is, this is crazy. You have to really work with the spine to not fall off. Like it's easy to fall off. Just another day of the office. What do you think? The office of Mother Earth. I think what you just said is the most realist part. When you're having this kind of experience, you are you're sharing the connection that roots us into the ground. But it's like our our chakras are aligning. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's also just a wild ride. <laughs> it's bumpy and fun <laughs> and amazing. What do you think, Mr. Turk? Yeah, what, do you think? what do you think? Can I do the thing where, where I hug him? Yeah. Oh my god, he's giving you kisses. Look at him, he's totally giving you a kiss. Fighting my foot. Thank you, Turk. Oh, here we go. Dude, that green river is where that it's at. Good, good green river. If you're in Marin, good earth, green river soup. It's like guacamole in a bowl. Sipping on the soup and driving my car. We're gonna go so far till we see the star. You know, I'm here with a friend and we're in the bends. We're riding on the street. It is, we're not gonna eat meat because we love animals. We can ride on horses, but we do it with compassion. Uh, it's not out of fashion to love each other, to be your brother or your sister or your mister. I'm about to get on the ferry and go on the water to go to San Francisco. Fuck, and then it ends. Ow, ow! Just said goodbye to McKenna. Again, I'm the worst vlogger when I'm around her because I'm deeply in love with that being. I'm not afraid to say it. I'd love for her to join me on my adventures, but it's not the time now. But one day, if it's all meant to unfold, it will. And I'm in pure faith and happiness that the relationships evolve as they're supposed to. But I love you, McKenna. Thank you so much for being in my life and for letting me hang out with Turk today. Now I'm on the ferry. I'm making a big loop today. Going, started in Berkeley. Took the bus over to Marin, where I'm at right now. Now I'm taking the ferry over to San Francisco. It's an awesome day. This is what I use, my friends, for tattoo healing. Stuff is so good, organic, vegan, certified non-GMO and cruelty-free. She got some lunch snacks, ate a few bananas. We got a Japanese sweet potato, apples, and I'm going to Gracias Madre tonight, vegan Mexican with my high school friend Cody and elementary school, my brother that I haven't seen in a while. Best type of sweet potato ever, Japanese sweet potato. I know this is weird because this is the end of the day, but don't worry, we got a great vlog for you. In fact, today was so epic, probably one of the best vlogs ever. But I need to insert this now because even in the last couple hours since I spent time hanging out with McKenna and Turk uh, with her horse, 
I've already seen on my Insta story and stuff, people starting to say, what the fuck, Jackson? You're contributing to horse cruelty. What are you doing? You talked about in the vlog the other day when you saw horses that they were such fuckers and that we shouldn't treat animals that way. And so I want to just address this now instead of addressing it in the vlog tomorrow when I get a bunch of hate, to be real. Um, you can comment whatever you want about what I do in my vlog. It's an open book. I'll read your comments and I'll change and I'll, and I'll learn if you have stuff to tell me. But listen to this situation before you comment in the comments below about how terrible it is what I and McKenna did today, because in my opinion, that is not accurate to judge this ex uh, that, that experience. So McKenna, just like myself, who's a lover of animals and who's a passionate vegan, acquired a horse in her life at a young age in the same way that I acquired all these animals from my snake bill and reptiles at a young age because I loved animals. And then you grow up and you realize that in a vegan world, we won't contribute the breeding of animals for human enjoyment and the confinement of animals. And we want them to live a wild, natural, happy life doing their natural thing instead of for human entertainment but sometimes we have to learn through that the hard way and um, you know McKenna didn't maybe has different feelings now uh, than she did when she was 10 years old when Turk came into her life so now we have the decision to make uh, and her and I both made the decision with the animals we took the responsibility and built a loving relationship with which is to provide the best life possible for that animal within the circumstances and then not contribute to an industry that we don't believe in. McKenna wants to one day have a horse sanctuary. I want to have an animal sanctuary uh, too one day and she also uh, right now practices something oh I don't remember the name it was a great name but it's a type of like horse training and handling where you're not treating the horse like an object tr trying to train it for a certain task uh, or for a competition she's she just has a relationship with her horse it doesn't go through training she doesn't put a harness on it she doesn't put a metal a bite uh, it's just all like ropes and she spends so much time and energy in her crazy busy life going to give Turk love instead of it being alone with the horses. I mean, it's in, it's in the, the spa, the freaking four seasons of the horse world, this gorgeous open uh, spot as you saw today in, uh, in Marin County and she spends hours a day brushing Turk. She knows what makes him happy. She takes him on hikes. And when I, when she was riding Turk and when I got on Turk today, and McKenna has known Turk for ha over half of her whole life, the horse actually enjoys to be taken out, to be ridden, and to have tasks. Now that's completely different than protests like I've done in New York City where we're trying to brand, uh, ban horses that are freaking chained up, are in the middle of the street in New York City. It's a completely different thing, okay? We both hope for a world where we won't even have to rescue animals, but this was our life's path. Turk came into McKenna's life and she does an amazing job at compassionately raising uh, this animal. So if you have issues with what I just said, um, oh, but with the horse riding thing, I just want to get everything now so I don't get uh, hate comments if they're unwarranted. Um, but yeah, like when we were riding Turk today, it le Turk legitimately enjoyed it. I felt it. I, I could read the energy. McKenna could read the energy a million times better because she spent her whole life around horses. Um, and I feel totally 100% uh, ethical with what I participated in today and considering that we both agree in a perfect world as we mature we're not going to contribute to these industries and we're going to spend our life trying to fight uh, for the liberation of animals I hope that uh, you will base your judgment if you choose to comment about our actions with what I just said and I just wanted to get that clear and now let's go back to the vlog
Just met up with Cheyenne. Hi. <laughs> should, we, should we pull out the picture? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see. Cheyenne and I met at CalCon a year ago. I'd say, I think that was a year ago. And she was like, dude, look at this picture. Look how different we are in our lives. I can't wait to see it. I probably have long hair. You can't really see your long yeah. hair, but. So different. Look at you look so different. Oh my gosh. You lost 50 pounds. 50 pounds. Was that on like a ketogenic <laughs> calorie no, restriction diet high or something? Low fat. Fuck yeah. That's what I like to yeah, hear. Absolutely. Just That's intuitive amazing. eating and high carb low fat. And you're going on a transformation of of geography soon. What's the plan? Yeah, I'm planning on going to Boulder. So excited. So to pursue awesome. what to serve you in your life. A change and just like a brand new start, a new beginning and adventure. Yeah. Dream, to dream extreme. To dream extreme. So we all need to do. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're just appreciating San Francisco. It's it's easy to not appreciate things, take things for granted. Absolutely. When you I've live lived there for 24 years, and sometimes I forget how beautiful the skyline is. So. You guys are you guys are so sick. Thank you. You're an inspiration. One day I'll get back into skating. Thank you. Uh, you guys want to let me try to ollie real quick, and then, and then I'll feel good about myself. When in doubt, when you're walking around, just enjoying the present moment, seeing what San Francisco has to offer, odds are they have vegan flavors. So we go. <laughs> Whatever, it's warm in here. It's warm for your heart. Wow, it smells really good in here. That was so much fresher than mine. Is my same camera for her YouTube channel? What's her YouTube channel? It's Nashley Cheyenne. Same as her Instagram. Yep. And it is laughable at how so different good. of a camera it looks because mine is so weathered yeah, and beat up. It's like, That's what it means to be a daily nothing, vlogger. Nothing on it. And That's it fresh. Has, like, paint chipping off. And it's cracked open. I probably should get a new camera just one day. Oh. Bye Cheyenne. Bye. Enjoy the transition. Oh, Much thank love. You. Have I a great appreciate journey. you. Oh, I like connecting with you yes. on a deeper level. Yes. You're a true awesome. friend. Yes, I love absolutely. you. You're a beautiful I love you too. person. Yeah. And now this is so trippy, man, because like you don't know me as this. I'm not gonna be vlogging too much because this dude is my brother, one of my best friends in the world. We haven't connected or talked for too long recently, but that Beautiful doesn't thing. matter due to the we've known each other since we were six years old, first grade. Uh, Gracias Madre was randomly closed, which is crazy. Um, and we were like hanging out with the other vegans that were crazy bummed out. Like vegans keep on rolling through. Like what the hell? Um, it's supposed to be open, but it's not. And uh, with the power of the internet, I found out they serve vegan ramen right over there, and that's just as good. Here's our beautiful plants tonight. We got vegan ramen. Cody's going vegan for the night as well. 
Oh, dude, you're so funny, man. Like, you've always been so funny. I appreciate that about you. Yeah, so we're eating vegan ramen, catching up. It's an absolute trip to connect with a brother after this length. So I'm turning this off so I can spend all my time with this guy. But we're blessed. We're alive somehow <laughs> after all the shit in our lives, and we're going to eat some ramen. bathroom of the universe. It is all fake plants, but it's trippy as hell in here. I wish I had to poop so I could have this experience, but I'm just gonna take a pee. That was a beautiful dinner. Cody is the man. I've loved him forever. We were best friends growing up and we'll become best friends again. He's the fucking dude. Oh, Bay Area. How I love thee. You connect me with my friends. And there's so much community here. So much beautiful community from new animal rights activists I meet to people on the ecstatic dance, dance floor, to old friends that I've known since I was six years old. I love it. Uh, just had a beautiful night. I just, I'm, I'm going to bed tonight, guys. So warm and fuzzy. I'm sleeping at friends' houses. I got to hang out with McKenna, which, whoa. Uh, horses, whoa. And Cody, my brother, um, and Cheyenne. Today was out of bounds, out of control. I don't know how it can get any better, but tomorrow is the day before my ayahuasca ceremony. Uh, I spoke with the shaman who will be guiding our ceremony today and we just talked and just talk, just got to ask him questions and feel, I, I feel so safe and loved, uh, yeah, just safe about the experience. Like we talked on the phone for about 20 minutes and it's gonna be so good. Uh, tomorrow is gonna be a interesting day. I'm gonna plan it all around pretty much my uh, prepping for the ceremony because I want it to be the best experience possible. Um, I'm gonna be meditating a lot tomorrow. I'm gonna try to eat super healthy uh, and all the things that contribute to the most enhanced experience that I can have a profound journey of downloading whatever will show up. So I'm not even gonna say what it might be because who knows, because I've never experienced it. Much love, dream extreme. Just got a couple more days in the bay. Love and life. Thank you for the love and for the support. And I hope to meet you too one day and finish the video saying how grateful I was to meet you, seriously.